Hello everyone. Have you ever stuffed zucchini and eggplant? Let's do it together. We need here. We need clay to clean them by water, salt, and ground mint. Here I clean them both with different water. We need these five of pepper. We need sautéed meat and onion, soaked rice, short grain rice, tomatoes, parsley, and mint, basil, margarine with olive oil, sea salt, ground turmeric. Here I prepared the tomatoes with the mint and Parsley, I chop them in the food processor ahead of time. Here cleaned eggplant and zucchini. So this one is the soaked rice, salt, turmeric, and black pepper. So we start with adding sea salt to the soaked short grain rice I put almost one teaspoon of sea salt I sprinkle a little bit ground turmeric almost quarter teaspoon and I added black pepper almost quarter teaspoon you can put as much as you want here the sautéed meat and onion I did them ahead of time and when they are cold I add them to the rice now I'm going to add the chopped mint tomatoes and mint and parsley I should them very fine but if you don't have the food processor, you can use just a regular knife. But for me to save me time and energy, I usually I do them in the food processor. I use basil margarine with olive oil. For the stuffing, I used four tablespoons of the margarine. This margarine is really gives very great taste to the any stuffing. So I usually I use this only. I don't use anything else. I change the container to a bigger container to fit all the stuffing. I mix them together you have to mix them very well especially when the butter is not uh, it's not soft enough because I keep it in the fridge so I really mix the, all the ingredients all together very well so I'm going to use just to show you one of each how to stuff it so I start first the zucchini you have to keep space in the top by using your little pinky finger that's how much you need space for rice to expand for the rice expand while it's cooking the same thing with the eggplant I fill it but I keep a space in the top by inserting my pinky finger inside to see the it has to be the size of my pinky finger empty space that will allow the rice to expand while it's cooking and I bought this uh, pepper it's not hot and it's not 
uh, sweet. It's, it's in between. It wasn't that hot at all. I thought it was hot, but it's not. In another video, I'll share with you how I core the zucchini and the eggplant. Most people, they know how to do it. The important thing is the stuffing. With this kind of stuffing, it's very good. It tastes very well. Try it, you will love it. So now I stuff the zucchini. I used in this recipe, because my family is small, I used 10 zucchini with two green pepper. I'm going to use the stove top for these two recipes to cook my zucchini and eggplant. So I start with the zucchini. Now I'm adding the Hans tomato sauce. I add the not the small can, the bigger can, because there is one small and one big. When I do the stuffing, I usually I use the bigger can, not the small one, not the smallest size. And I add three cans of water. I try to cover the zucchini and the pepper. And I add here one tablespoon of uh, sea salt. So I put the stove on six, which is half, it's not. I put the zucchini, I put them down to cover it with heavy stone. This is for the stuffing, we use it for all kinds of stuffing to make the zucchini goes under the water. And that's how it looks like when it's done. And usually we drink the water comes out from the sauce. Here we're going to start doing the eggplant. I sauteed the bulb of the eggplant with water with half a cup of water. And then when it's cooled down, I you I the stuffed zucchini I put on top of the cooked pulp, or we call it sauteed pulp. You will cook it as if I am boiling it. I boil it to make it a little bit soft, and then I put the eggplant on top of it. And in this recipe, I used fresh tomato. I took the skin, and I'm using the this machine, the food processor, to make it like a sauce. Usually I use the Hans, but for this one, I thought to make it even more tastier, to use the fresh tomato. So I pour it, I pour it, I make it like a sauce type of thing, and I add it to the eggplant. If you don't have this machine, you can either chop the tomato by hand, or even you can use any kind of machine that puree the tomato, or make it as like a sauce, or... When we were young, we used to chop the tomato. We never had these uh, food processors. So we used to chop it very fine with hands and add it to the meal to the while we're cooking the zucchini or the eggplant or anything else we need the water. So now I add, I add it to the eggplant and I shake the, the pot a little bit or the saucepan to, 
to make the water goes inside the eggplants. Then I added one tablespoon of salt. So I try to add more water to cover the eggplants. And I use here the heavy stone to put on top to make the eggplant goes inside. And this way will cook evenly. Now that's how it looks, the eggplant. And we eat the pulp along with the stuffed eggplant. It tastes so great. So this the stuffing the stuffed eggplant with the, the sauce with the pulp, it goes really together and it's don't don't throw ever the eggplant pulp. Just cook it the way I did it. You will really appreciate. And that's how it looks like in the end. I tried it. So I'm trying the eggplant. I cut it from the middle. Usually I hold it in my hand when it's a little bit cool. But I, just to show you, I tried this, the pulp, the cooked pulp with the, the stuffing with the eggplant. I can't tell you how much it was so delicious. I hope you liked this video. Greetings from Najashukir. Bye for now.